Hi, I'm Samantha and welcome to this episode of Little Bit of Heaven. On today's show, we are so excited to present to you Dove award-winning singer and songwriter Mitch McVicker in concert. It has been almost 10 years that Mitch nearly lost his life in the same tragic accident that claimed his best friend Rich Mullins. Battered and broken, Mitch's road to recovery was a painful one and his story is nothing short of a miracle. Mitch's heart is that his music and his lyrics point to Jesus and show how God's love is unwavering. You will also discover how Mitch finds a musical sound in objects that we all seem to take for granted. He truly thinks outside the box. Now embarking on a new 50 city, 22 state tour, one of his stops was right here in East Northport at Little Bit of Heaven. Let's get to the show. Please welcome Mitch McVicker. and glow. 
I, ha I have been doing this for a long time. I play guitar, I play harmonica, I, I beat on various percussion things and create loops for, for concerts. Um, I've been writing songs for a long time. Uh, I started out when, when I was young and my mom, my mom made me uh, sing in church growing up. And, um, and that's kind of what I did. Uh, up until, um, you know, I, it, music was just a hobby all the way through through college even, and and then it just so happened that I ended up doing doing this for a living, traveling here and there, and um, that's been for for 13 years doing concerts. I'm gonna sit 
psalmist writes. Uh, um, he says, Lord, your faithfulness is more consistent, it's more constant than the rising of the sun. And I go, okay, I can get with that. Um, I've never known the sun not to rise. But there are, you know, there are cloudy days. There are cloudy days when we can't see the sun. Does that change the fact that the sun has come up? There, there are times when we are going to go through hard, difficult, tough stuff. Does that change the fact that the faithfulness of Jesus persists when we wonder on the faithfulness of the Lord? I lost my head, I lost my nerve I can't remember where I put them Oh, and there are some curves coming my way The road is getting slippery This journey's long This night's been dark I can't recall where I've gone But it's been hard And now I, I don't want it easy I just don't want to put on my own name no There's in my air condition, my caffeine buzz, my peace, my strength that isn't going I'm away from my patient love. I try to pick the best way, but this is taking my feet one way, and my soul wants to go to another place. I'm in trouble, and with your voice, trouble steering my course. Hey, hey, yeah. situation up another level. 
when I point to you, but that's what. Just be my guy, my girl, my last, my skill, my shot, my wheels. Off my arm, my hair, my gun, my song playing. Beats and streaming as I'm going, I'm away from a patient love. Beats and streaming as I'm going, I'm away from a patient love. Beats and streaming as I'm going, I'm away from a patient love. Beats and streaming as I'm going, I'm away from a patient love. Just be my guy, my girl, my last, my skill, my shot, my wheels, my rubber to the door. Cylinders and my air conditioning, my heavy bus, my face, my shirt, that is going to go away. My love is patient, patient, in my, my, my blood, that's kind, be my, my patient, love, patient, love, patient, la, 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 la. I got into Christian music by working with a guy named Rich Mullins. Um, I met Rich in college. He had been doing Christian music for a long time and, um, and he'd come back to school for, after a number of years and, and he asked me when I, when I graduated if I would work with him. I did that. I traveled with him for, for two and a half years. Uh, Rich is the guy that, you know, awesome God, step by step, hold me Jesus. A lot of the songs that people are singing in church, still hearing on the radio. Um, and on CD. Um, I did that for a while. We were roommates. Um, Rich Mullins was killed in a car wreck in 1997. I was in the same car and was uh, deeply affected by that. Um, I was in the hospital for a long time. Broken bones, collapsed lungs, I was in a coma. The recovery process was a long ongoing one. A um, whole lot of fear and doubt and questions arose within me as to what was going on. I couldn't, I couldn't figure it out. You know, I didn't understand why um, the, the man whom many assume is uh, w w w would call the best singer-songwriter the Christendom is known um, was taken from us. I didn't understand why I was laying there in the hospital bed in the situation I was in. That, that long ongoing healing process that I went through, um, through, through some intense recovery uh, over a number of weeks to some ongoing recovery for a number of years, um, what was a, a healing agent for a woman at, at, at last night's concert. Um, she said the words that you, that you speak in songs are, are healing me now. And, and, it, and if it wasn't for what you went through, um, that it wouldn't be able to speak to me in the way that it has. Joseph took his wife and her child and he went to Africa. To escape the rage of a deadly king There along the banks of the Nile Jesus listened to the song That the captive children They used to sing Singing now to my deliverer is coming. My deliverer is standing by. My deliverer is coming. My deliverer is standing by. He will never break his promise. He has written it. Sky, and my deliverer is 
coming by delivery is standing by standing by Dry and thirsty land, water from the Kenyan Heights, poured itself out from Lake Sangris, broken heart. And there in the Sahara winds, Jesus heard the whole world cry. healing flowing from his own skies and now the world sings my deliverer is coming my deliverer is standing by yeah the whole world sings it my His promise, though I doubt my heart, though I doubt my eyes, my deliverer is coming, my deliverer is standing by, and hey, we'll go sing it out, sing it with us, sing it, my deliverer is coming. Get over. Mother Teresa said, um, well, you know, when, when, she, when this man was asking her, um, your, your ministry is touching millions, um, while wow, you must be a person of great faith and you must have such great clarity. And she said, I've never had any clarity, never had any clarity. All I've ever had is trust. And that's what we have, um, for we can't see what's coming around the corner. We have these ideas in our head, and we have these expectations of what we would like, what we'd like to be coming around the corner. But what we can have is trust. 
I'm Samantha, and I'm so glad that you were able to join us on this episode of Little Bit of Heaven. You know, there are so many wonderful events that go on here at this ministry, from support groups to workshops to Bible studies to seminars, something just for you. You can come alone, make a friend, or bring a friend. Most important is that you come down. So if you'd like to learn more, you can call us at 631-262-1212, and we'll be happy to send you out a free calendar of events and a free brochure just for you. Have a great day and may God bless you.